Have you ever felt like you accidentally intimidate people around you? Well, I have some news for you. Might just be a chosen one. Keep watching to find out the reason why people around you feel intimidated. Chosen ones possess a deep spiritual connection that can unsettle those skeptical or disconnected from spirituality. This connection isn't tangible or easily explained. It's a profound sense of being intertwined with something greater than oneself for some spirituality is a foreign concept, and encountering someone who exudes such a connection can be perplexing. It's like witnessing a language one doesn't understand, but can sense its significance. The chosen in one's aura may feel foreign or unsettling to those who haven't explored their own spiritual depths. This disconnection can breed discomfort or intimidation, as it challenges one's worldview. The chosen one's spiritual essence radiates transcending mere words or actions. It's a silent proclamation of their alignment with something beyond the material world. This depth can be both intriguing and unsettling to those unaccustomed to such experiences in a world often governed by logic and materialism, encountering someone deeply rooted in. Spirituality can feel like encountering a foreign land. It's not something easily comprehended or rationalized. Instead, it requires a willingness to explore beyond the surface. The chosen one's spiritual connection serves as a reminder of the vast mysteries of existence, prompting reflection and perhaps even a journey inward for those willing to embark on it. Encounters with chosen individuals can trigger ego dissolution which is the unraveling or dissolution of one's sense of self, this dissolution can be unsettling as it challenges the very foundation upon which one has built their identity. Imagine feeling like you're standing on solid ground, only for the ground to suddenly give way beneath you there. Unraveling of ego occurs when confronted with someone who seems to transcend the limitations of ego-driven desires and insecurities. It's as if their presence shines a light on the fragile nature of ego, exposing its illusions and limitations. This EXP exposure can lead to feelings of discomfort or even hostility as a defense mechanism against this perceived threat to one's identity. Recognizing the fragility of ego is essential in understanding why encounters with chosen ones can evoke such strong reactions. Ego is like a protective shell we build around ourselves to shield us from the uncertainties and vulnerabilities of life when this shell is challenged or threatened it instinctively seeks to defend itself sometimes resorting to resentment or hostility towards those who trigger its dissolution practicing empathy towards oneself and others is key in navigating this process of ego dissolution rather than Resisting or denying the discomfort it brings embracing it with compassion can lead to greater self-awareness and growth. It's a journey of self-discovery that requires courage and vulnerability as we confront the illusions that have shaped our sense of self-chosen individuals often find themselves challenging established beliefs and societal norms which can provoke resistance and hostility from those who feel threatened by this departure from the status quo society operates within a framework of norms and expectations that dictate acceptable behavior beliefs and values. When someone emerges who defies or questions these norms, it disrupts the familiar order and can trigger fear or discomfort in. Others' fear of change and transformation underpins much of the hostility directed towards chosen ones. They represent a departure from the familiar, a breaking away from the safety of conform, for some, this departure is seen as a threat to the stability and predictability of their lives. It's like sailing into uncharted waters without a map or compass, unsettling and unnerving chosen ones often embody qualities or beliefs that challenge the prevailing power structures or ideologies they may advocate for social justice. Equality or spiritual enlightenment, which can be perceived as a threat by those who benefit from maintaining the status quo, this resistance stems from a fear of losing privilege or facing uncomfortable truths about one's own complicity. In societal injustices, it's important to recognize that the challenging of societal norms is essential for progress and growth without questioning the status quo society becomes stagnant, unable to adapt to changing circumstances, or address systemic injustices, 
chosen ones serve as catalysts for change pushing boundaries and expanding the collective consciousness. Despite their good intentions, chosen ones can evoke feelings of intimidation or discomfort in some individuals. Due to the profound spear spiritual aura, they emit this aura, sets them apart, often leaving others at a loss for words. Or feeling inadequate in comparison, their spiritual essence is palpable distinct from mere worldly attributes. It's like being in the presence of someone who radiates an invisible energy that speaks to the depths of one's soul. This can be overwhelming for those who are unaccustomed to such encounters or who have not explored their own spiritual depths in a world where material success and external. Validation often take precedence encountering someone whose presence transcends these superficial measures can be disconcerting. It's like being confronted with a reality that defies the logic and limitations of the physical world, a reality that challenges one's perceptions of what is possible. The vibrant aura of chosen ones can serve as a mirror reflecting back to others, their own insecurities, and Fears it's as if their presence illuminates the shadows lurking within, stirring up feelings of inadequacy or unworthiness. This discomfort may manifest as avoidance or even hostility towards the chosen one as a way of deflecting attention away from one's own inner turmoil chosen individuals exude at. Remarkable level of confidence that can trigger jealousy and resentment in those who are insecure about their own. Abilities or accomplishments, this confidence is not arrogance or boastfulness, but rather a deep-seated belief in one's self and one's purpose in life. Imagine being in the presence of someone who radiates self-assurance and inner strength, someone who seems unfazed by the opinions or judgments of others. It's like standing in the eye of a storm surrounded by chaos and uncertainty, yet feeling completely calm and Centered maintaining this level of confidence requires resilience and a steadfast commitment to staying true to oneself. Chosen ones understand that their worth is not determined by external validation or approval, but by their own sense of self-worth and integrity grounding oneself in personal. Strengths and values is essential for withstanding the negativity that may be directed towards them. It's like having a Solid foundation upon which to build a fortress protecting oneself from the arrows of doubt and criticism, the confidence of chosen individuals serves as a beacon of inspiration for others reminding them of their own potential and power. It's like watching a flame ignite in the darkness illuminating the path forward and dispelling the shadows of self-doubt and insecurity some individuals possess a natural Aura or energy that draws attention and sets them apart from the crowd this energy often described as a spotlight seems to follow them wherever they go capturing the interest and curiosity of those around them from a young age these individuals may have noticed that they stand out in social settings without even trying it's like being born with a magnetic force that attracts others to them regardless of their Intentions this unique presence can evoke admiration from some and jealousy from others who long to possess the same effortless charisma despite not seeking attention or recognition chosen ones naturally stand out due to their unique vibe and energy. It's like being a beacon of light in a sea of darkness guiding others towards a higher purpose or calling this inherent magnetism can be both a blessing and a Curse as it draws both genuine connections and unwanted attention, others often sense something different about chosen individuals in their presence, which can evoke unique reactions. This recognition goes beyond mere physical appearance or personality traits. It's a deep spiritual knowing that transcends words or logic. Their sense of not belonging stems from a higher calling and divine guidance that sets them apart from the crowd it's like feeling a pull to towards something greater than oneself, a sense of purpose that guides their every action and decision. This divine guidance serves as a compass directing them towards their true path in life for those attuned to spiritual energies, the presence of. Chosen ones can be palpable, like feeling a gentle breeze on a hot summer day. It's a subtle but unmistakable sensation that stirs something deep within 
in awakening a sense of awe and reverence for the mysteries of existence, not everyone responds positively to this recognition of divine guidance. Some may feel threatened or uncomfortable in the presence of someone who seems to possess a direct connection. To the divine, it's like being confronted with a truth that challenges one's beliefs and assumptions about the nature of reality in social environments, the presence of chosen individuals can evoke a range of reactions, both positive and negative, despite their best intentions, their unique qualities, and energy often attract attention and stir up emotions in those around them for some encountering a chosen. One can feel like a breath of fresh air, a welcomed break from the mundane and ordinary it's like stumbling. Upon a hidden gem, in a sea of mediocrity sparking excitement and curiosity about the possibilities that lie ahead their engaging aura and vibrant energy create an atmosphere of warmth and openness inviting genuine connections and meaningful interactions, not everyone reacts positively to that. Presence of chosen ones, some individuals may feel threatened or intimidated by their confidence and charisma. It's like being in the presence of a powerful force that challenges the status quo and pushes boundaries. This discomfort may manifest as resentment or hostility toward the chosen one as others struggle to come to terms with their own insecurities and shortcomings. If you're still watching, I'd like to thank you. For your attention, if you enjoyed the content and want to see more, please consider clicking the subscribe button. Your support is very appreciated. Feel free to share your experiences or thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, take care and subscribe for more insightful content.